Hey, it's Kelsey, and if there's one thing you all really like about me, it's my relatability. It's important for me to show you the highs and lows of my pole journey, so I do my best to keep things real. With that in mind, I thought today I'd show you an unfiltered look at my process for learning a new move. I was recently on Instagram, and every pole dancer I follow happened to be doing a ballerina spin, which I've really been wanting to get, so I figured that would be a perfect move to try out for you today. So what you just saw was me talking through the move while slowly getting each limb into place on static pole. That's a preview for how the rest of this video will go. It's not thrilling to watch, but I'm going to do my best to show you the exact process, warts and all, as they say. Here's the tutorial I'll be referencing, Pull with Aaron's Ballerina Pole Dance Tutorial. Here's a side-by-side -side of me and Aaron's video. I really like her stuff because she breaks things down slowly, making sure you know exactly where each limb is going when you get into position. Of course, having a live instructor in the room with you is the best way to learn pole moves, but since this trick isn't dangerous, I feel okay about just consulting the internet. Speaking of which, I'll only show you this once and sped up to be 200% faster, but when I'm learning a new trick, there's a lot of walking back to my computer to consult a video, or if I'm looking at a book, I'll read the steps out loud to myself. I also put on pole grip constantly because my hands are so sweaty, so when I walk out of the room, I'm dabbing on some more grip over the sink so I don't accidentally get sticky stuff on the floor. I'll cut out the rest of these breaks, but rest assured I'm taking them. Even with grip, you'll notice I'm constantly wiping my hands on my butt to try to get them a little bit drier before trying the move again. Okay. Um, seems kind of wrong. So here you'll see me mess up the spin, readjust, and try again. It can be very hard to tell until you watch back a video you've recorded of yourself whether your limbs are actually in the right position. So you're about to hear me once more narrate to myself what I'm doing. It helps me keep track of which limb is doing what, because seriously, even though I've only got two arms and two legs, once you get spinning on a pole, it can feel like you're an octopus with no sense of direction. <laughs> Like you just heard, I also ask myself questions out loud. First, it helps me puzzle out what's going on. Second, it's because I get frustrated and maybe I'm hoping the pole goddesses will hear me and answer me. Or maybe I'm just lonely and pretending I have an instructor with me to answer back. If a move happens on one side, that is absolutely no guarantee it's going to happen on the other side of the body. And around, perfect, yeah, okay. So there was the moment of absolute delight when I managed to get the move on one side and you heard me say, so this arm can do it. I'm again narrating to myself what just happened so it sticks in my brain and because it feels nice to congratulate my body on something it just accomplished. But here you can see that my other arm can't do it, <laughs> at least for now.
After trying Aaron's variation for a few minutes, I'm switching back to the way I first learned the ballerina to see if I can apply the new tips to my old method. If I'm working on a new trick or just a new way of getting into one I know, I'll often revisit the first way I learned it to figure out what's working and what's not. And I was trying to recreate the success I had about a month ago when I was in person in the studio with my instructor, which you saw in my six months of pole progress video. If you watched it. <laughs> There you heard me say ouch though and check out my side in the mirror because I felt like I would have a bright mark on my skin. If you've so much just touched a pole, you know how painful it is, so here's just a look at me starting to feel the pain from trying a trick so many times in a row. I'm getting burnt out on the ground, so now I'm trying the move from a climb like Erin does in her tutorial. In the tutorial, Erin shows how to enter the ballerina from a side hang, which is essentially just holding your body to the side after a climb so you can bring your legs around, which lets you bring your arm down, which lets you bring your leg around again. I'm telling you, everything that seems simple is actually a complicated series of steps when it comes to pole dancing. Here you see me trying it without the spin. No, hang on. Okay. That two syllable no uh is how you can tell I'm getting frustrated. And you might be too watching this. I'm annoyed at myself editing this video because it's like, just do the move. <laughs> but that's the thing, once it's you up there on the pole trying to do the thing someone just gracefully showed like it was so easy, you find out exactly how uneasy it is. So this is me once again talking out the body positioning but from the ground, and then getting a cramp in my gluteus medius. Another thing that happens to me a lot is that muscle memory will kick in for the wrong move, one I'm not working on. Like here, my body is trying to pull itself into a figurehead and you can see me getting confused because it almost feels right and then I realize it's wrong. At this time, I took a cute little break and worked on a few cute little spins before giving it another try. Despite my little break, I'm starting to fatigue and the grip is becoming the worst problem. Once my hands lose their ability to hold onto the pole, nothing else is going right for the rest of the training session. At this point, you're probably thinking, if I have to watch this lady try this trick again, I'm gonna lose my marbles, which is, <laughs> to be honest, how it feels when I'm training too. I'm sure my pole heroes train their signature moves 10, 20, 100 times in a row until they have them perfect, and even though I'm not going for perfect here, that's just kind of how it has to be. I'm gonna give you a spoiler, I don't get this move today. The small victory I had earlier is as close as I get to the ballerina spin in this training session, and maybe the next training session, and maybe the rest of the training sessions for the rest of the month. And the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day. If my 
body is like this, how is this leg coming around? That is not a possibility. I mean, check out how frustrated I am. I don't ever want you to watch my videos, especially my progress videos, and think, wow, she's so good, I'll never be like that. Although, looking at my videos, I wouldn't think that. <laughs> this is my attempt to pull back the curtain and expose the Wizard of Oz, who might fail after trying something a million times in a row, but will one day succeed. And really, if I keep trying, the word fail doesn't even exist to me. It's just progress, one painful, annoying little smidge of progress at a time. I hope you enjoyed this realistic look at learning a new pole trick, and remember, I'm proud of you.